Yola folks and welcome to the soon to be destroyed worm. Look who I have here. It's garbage man himself. Garb. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said in the last video, uh, it looks it looks as though we we're gonna have some kind of gnarly storm. And uh, we decided what better way to spend our time than to stay out here and see what happens. We've been talking uh, for what since we first got this we this property we've been saying that we should probably find the worst storm of the year and just stay out here that was actually before there was a cabin yeah and a man cave we were just talking about staying in our tents it's supposed to be i don't know i don't know at least a foot of snow temperatures are now not quite as bad down to like 12 or something yeah i think the wind is really going to be the problem it's like 48 hours of 35 mile an hour winds with gusts. It's gonna be a whistling. <laughs> Gust of 50 or something. Anyway, it should be fun. There'll be a lot of trees down. Uh, hopefully a lot of snow, a lot of big drifts. And uh, we we're thinking if if we didn't stay out here for this, if we just uh, left, went down state or something and then came back, there's a good chance at the peak of its project prediction was like 20 inches of snow. I might not be able to get back in here because that little four wheeler will only drive through 10 inches, eight, 10 inches or something. And we gotta be able to plow and plow the parking lot and everything. So anyway, we decided we're gonna stay here. So we're just uh, trying to shuffle stuff around. We're basically gonna hang out in the cabin the whole time. Maybe take turns going out and blasting down the trails or something. Yeah. We all appreciate your input. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what else. I don't know. I, that was my plan, eat a, Eat a food. Oh yeah, we got a, a lot of good cheese. garbage food. Many kinds of cheese. Drippy cheese, <laughs> stiff cheese. So, yeah, we got we got all textures and weights. As the Tito brought his guitar and bass, so we'll probably spend like 48 hours inside the cabin. Listen to the wind. Over. Just listen to the wind and you know, Whistling. try not to get hit by trees. We'll see what happens. Can't drive down the trail with that sucker on. You gotta cart it down there, and then every time we gotta use it, gotta unhook it, hook it back up. We do have our uh, e hippos. Yeah, that's why I filled up my gas tank. Yep. Worst gets the worst. You can sleep in your car for a couple days. Yeah. That's why I always tell people that like first go winter camping. Like, well, what do we need? What do we need? I said the, like the most important thing is just a car with a full tank of gas. Yeah. Because you can go camp in a summer tent and you're shorts and flip-flops as long as you got a car to go to when it gets too cold. Before I was more stable <laughs> in all I can't ways. wait to hear the rest of <laughs> this. <laughs> I always wanted a car you could uh, sleep in comfortably because I always thought you can you can sleep in your car but you can't move your house you know you can't drive your house around but you can sleep in your car. What's the moral of this story? Uh, never rub another man's rhubarb. Okay. Got it all cleaned out. Ready for a good storming. Oh yeah, check this out. Just trying to figure out where to set the picnic table tops to dry oh. them out. And uh, that's perfect. It's better in here. I know. Uh, I have to make my pretty desk out of those boards I got, but it's freaking perfect right here. And it's drying out nicely already. So that's cool. Carla. Carla C. You're looking all right. And Thomas P's not bad either. Hey Thomas. Hey Thomas. What's up, Hasim? Dude, this is gonna be so much fun. Oh, we should go get the uh, lawn chairs. Because nothing says blizzard. Like, like a couple lawn, lawn chair. chairs. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we are gonna have to sit out in it in lawn chairs. Yeah, put all your snowmobile clothes on and just go sit in the woods. Yeah. Let's do that for sure. Let's look at the weather forecast and choose the absolute worst time to Peak. do it. Yeah. Where should we go? Sky deck. Oh yeah. All right, let's do that. At some point, let's go put all our clothes on and just sit out there, see if we can make it for an hour. An hour? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need a, a wet clothes hook. Is it, those the right nails to hold up clothes? Uh, Taste it. Yeah, kind of cinnamon and and a little bit of a pickle. Is that the right one? Mm hmm Okay. We already got some hooks up there, but we need some extras. All 
I think we're ready for some snow and wind. Oh, lawn chairs. Oh, let's get the lawn chairs. Top up the charge. Batteries charged up. For the first time in uh, three years, we figured out how to fold up these stupid chairs. I seriously would have bet uh, 50 bucks that those don't fold up like that. I mean, obviously they should, but. Uh, you did bet. I did? Yeah. Oh, well, so did I win or lose? You owe me. That yeah, figures. <laughs> So we've decided that although we'll probably forget we're gonna go do one lap of the 22 shooting range right now before it snows and then before he leaves in a couple days we'll try one more you got large pockets is that enough i think that's really good more i can't get it in my pocket <laughs> hold on to him hold on to him well, it's Im imminently walkable right now. We got about one inch of very soft snow. That's the weird thing too, is it's as warm right now as it has been for, I don't know, a month. It's like high 30, so everything's melting and then it's just supposed to dive. I can feel it's dropped one degree already. You can tell, huh? Missing the target. The double whammy yep. with no target hits. Yep. I didn't hear any dinging. Your earplugs are too tight. Well, two for six. I didn't see any of them. Well, you are probably aiming the camera the wrong I way. I was looking through the camera. I'm sure when I watch the the track back, it'll just be a video of your nose. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear all those? I heard some dinging. Did you? At least one, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> All right, let me try. Just as many as you? Was that one? I didn't hear any. I think I might have nicked the last one. Nope. Fine. <laughs> it's like a gorgeous summer, summer day out here. Feels like it. There's where some of your bullets went. Mine must have all hit the target. Or it's a uh, deer with lazy leg <laughs> just the whole herd they just dropped a leg right there <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> just this side of the target he says he can never hit these so let's prove him right yeah nothing well all right yep sad the uh the commentary helped yeah <laughs> Yeah, here, I'll boost your confidence. Boost it. Okay, come on, loser. You can hit it. Oh, did you miss that? That's too bad. Oh, oh you and can't. you forgot to load that cylinder. Oh, <laughs> you missed again. Come on, just uh -huh. one time. Just one you can hit. I Nothing. didn't hit that Nothing? one. Oh, that's just really a shame. They were moving. Did you see them? They're quaking with fear. I did forget to load one <laughs> cylinder. Have a quick look see at Tito's building site. Man, it just seems so weird to have such a big open area. I know, I've, I've almost, I've stood out here and panicked a little bit <laughs> a few times. No, well, it's totally fine, I'm just not used to it. I mean, once you put a cab in there and you know, you get your used broken down cars and bicycles and washing machines, this will fill right up. Yeah. 
The sky looks uh, gray, but it's so weird. It's still so warm oh. and really calm. Oh yeah, clouds are cruising pretty fast. Well, we got three hours or something before it gets Narnar. -nar. Like Tito brought some of the uh, official grill meat of ringworm, which is the pork steak. And because it's so nice right now, he's gonna get a fire going, cook us up some din din. And I, I'm gonna compare and contrast the shower situation. So I'm gonna take a shower right now while it's calm and like in the mid thirties. And then two days from now, <laughs> When it's uh, 12 and ripping wind and dumping snow, I'm gonna try it again. Just kind of curious. You think it'll be comfortable in there yep. with the heater on when it's uh, 12 degrees? And you think so? Yeah. I think it will too. Man, I get so excited for that shower now that it's all set up like that. I bet. Don't even need the heat right now, but I'm gonna yeah. use it. I'll probably take one here in a minute after I get these. Is that the old uh, cedar and cardboard box fire yep. that you learned as a child? Man, if you ever wonder if uh, one inch of chainsaw milled cedar gives you any insulation, it doesn't. Can you hear that? <laughs> I thought there was something wrong with the heater in here. It's that big blowtorch. You can hear it right through the wall like you're standing right there. Crank it. There you go. You're the whitest white man I've ever met. Can't hear ya. <laughs> no good. No good. Well, yep, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, it was actually too warm in here with the heater on high, so I love that. But big check mark. It's uh, very, very comfortable to shower in here when it's in the 30s. We'll see. Uh, Tito's going to try tomorrow when it's in the 20s, and then I'll do it the next day when it's in the teens, and we'll see, uh, see what happens. It's really, I think it's not ever a problem except that at your feet, the temperature down here is still freezing. Right now the water's, every the floor's all melted because it's above freezing, but if it was like 25 degrees, even while you're showering, the hot water hits the floor and then it all ices over. I finally remembered to get some D batteries because there's a little blower on here. I'm not sure if it actually does anything, but I like it. <laughs> now the one thing that I don't like about being in the woods when it's really, really windy as of course there's a chance of you know trees coming down on you. I've done a pretty good job cutting danger trees away from all the stuff I built actually except for the shower. I did not do a good job of that. So it's possible the shower will get crushed. The cabin and the man cave should be fine. But the thing that's tough is just the noise. I used to live on a sailboat for a lot of years and we have a big storm come through. Just sleep sleeping with all that noise in the rigging I mean, within three, four, five hours, you're just kind of like stressed out from it. And similarly here, it's nice that the trees block all the wind, but just the roar just gets on your nerves after a while. Kind of wears you out, but I don't know. We'll see in the cabin with the insulation. Maybe it won't be so bad. Is Tito's going to sleep in there because there's a heater. And just for no particular reason, I'm going to sleep in the man cave. I've been in there for a few weeks and kind of starting to like it. I think the thing I like most about it is even when I'm not staying in there overnight, I sit in there because I've got my battery in there, my computer, and I edit videos in there. And then when my tent's up, I get up and go into the tent, which I enjoy. I really like that. But I'm kind of into now editing videos with the heat on, turn the heat way down, like as low as it goes, and then going to bed in there and waking up in the morning and I'm chilled and I can just go over and click, click, turn the heat on high, go back to sleep, wake up half an hour, hour later and being warm. But I want to sleep in there the next couple nights just to see what it's like when the weather is really bad. See if that's a, a reasonable place to, to be. I don't know if the heat ever went out in the cabin or anything. And I was out here through a gnarly storm. Nice to have a fallback. Would you like to do the honors? To turn the heat on? Oh, is it not on? It well, feels nice in here. It's uh, 42 in here, but crank it right up. We'll be back in an hour ready to eat. That's it. That's it? Let's see what we got. Yep. Good flamage. All right. Eat dinner, come back. It should be like actual room temperature, whatever that is. 31 out. Oh, it's 47 in here. I thought it felt more like 47. No, you didn't. You did. Oh, yeah. Let's check on the pork chops out here. How's the meat, Turkish? Cooking pork steak on an open fire. It should be good. 
Good enough to eat. Eating meat before the snow. Those look great. Kind of oh. look like a couple of groundhogs. Yep. Yeah. Let's eat them then. All right. Oh yeah. Decided not to eat with snow clothes and boots on. We're going slippers. Oh yeah. You know, do you think anybody's ever had a bad time when they were wearing pajamas underneath snow clothes? Uh, I think it's like the ultimate combination. All right. We'll see you tomorrow when it's snowy. Yeah. Well, it's not blowing. It's supposed to start blowing like four hours ago, but uh, we got some snow. <laughs> Tito's out there just staring at it with his headphones on. What you doing? Staring at the snow? Well, we got a little bit. Maybe. Oh, I actually got more than I thought. Maybe five inches or something. What's going on, man? Are you just looking at the snow for a while? I was seeing how close I could get those deer to come to me. Oh, I didn't see the deer. I've been standing there for about 10 minutes. I know, I've been watching you out the window. I thought you were having a seizure. No, they were literally right there. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, he came out and they ran. He was eating off this tree right here and he'd look at me <laughs> and I just froze. <laughs> I love doing that. Yeah. To see, because they're like, I saw something. Yeah. <laughs> and if you just stay completely... It disappeared, man. It disappeared. <laughs> yeah, if you stay completely still, they eventually they calm down. I keep meaning to uh, put all my clothes on and go drive the trails and do some plowing, but I think uh, I'm going to have another cup of coffee first. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. I, I woke up at 4 o'clock because it was supposed to blow. It was supposed to start like between 4 and 5. And I woke up, it was 4. I was like, I'll get up and just see what happens. It still hasn't started. Uh, <clears throat> I got up at... 5.30. Just gonna cook up a second cup of coffee in my leak proof cup so I can take it on the four wheeler. Go blast some trails. It's gonna be so much fun. Ooh, I almost forgot my coffee. Yeah, the trees are holding most of it. If you get in a spot where there's a dense canopy, uh, there's like one inch on the ground. And you get out into the open and there's, uh, it's gotta be eight inches or so. For the first thing I built out here, I really had no idea how to do any of this. It's just amazing that it's still standing.
this is so much fun it shouldn't be legal. I definitely chose the right clothes. I'm perfect, even with uh, single layer gloves on that I always work in. Just great. And I've got Radio Lab in my ears. Mm. What a great day, you know? <laughs> you can't see the rocks. That was so fun, it, I felt a little guilty, so I came back and parked the four-wheeler for Tito to take a couple laps. It takes like three, four, five laps to get everything really nice and packed down. <laughs> so I'm just here standing on the stump, drinking coffee, and I'm kind of addicted to these uh, almond M&Ms. They just go down so nicely, especially in the morning. It is so freaking pretty right now. And still, no wind, no bomb cyclone. Oh, break your teeth. Ah, I mean... Alright then, now that uh, wind's starting to happen, I've been waiting for almost the whole day for that. If I'm being honest, I might have just woken up from like a two hour nap. <laughs> oh, life is good. I just want to see all that snow get flung out of the trees at once. All right, I think I'm gonna make another cup of coffee and just stand here staring until it happens. Yeehaw! <laughs> that was a shao shao. <laughs> that was amazing. I feel like you unlocked some kind of new level. It's a, it's a portal. Yeah. It's a portal to the real world. New level of living. You don't have to run out of there. No, and you can stare at that heater right in the face as you get dressed. Yep. Found a great movie light here. It's the Jackery, which is the largest flashlight, heaviest flashlight known to man. Because it has this little thing in the end. But just for a movie light, you point it at the lantern. It's lovely. We decided we should watch a movie. Half a movie, have a snack, half a movie, eat dinner, and then watch a movie tonight. <laughs> have a dessert. Once and then dessert, dessert after that, yeah. and maybe maybe some YouTube after that, we'll see. Alright, let's hit it. This might be the most fun I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> I love that the weather's just bad enough that you don't want to go out and do anything. Like, I don't feel the need to be out cutting trees or milling or anything. Plus, I mean, it helps that Tito's here, so when he's around, we'd, I generally take it a little easier. But I've been awake for, uh, I don't know, more than two hours listening to music. Uh, this this uh, week's album that we're working our way through is Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. It's unbelievably good. I guess everybody already knows that, but I haven't uh, taken the time to purposely work through her stuff. So freaking good. I guess I'll finish my third cup of coffee. Got some bagels and cream cheese that I forgot about. And then I'll uh, probably have to go out and uh, pack the trail skin. I mean, that's pretty much it for day today. Maybe uh, we'll eat some more of that cold prime rib, watch a few movies. You know, it's it's a rough life. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but you should definitely consider moving to the woods. This would be equally as fun if the man cave and the cabin weren't here just to do this intense because the weather's really not that horrible for winter camping. But... The nice thing is you can lay here for three hours listening to music and not be cold. Not have to get up and run around and chop wood just to, you know, get your body temp up. It's all fun, but, uh, you know, as I slowly age, I find myself enjoying these days more and more as compared to the uh, chilly toes uh, wood chopping days. Oh, you know what we got to remember to do today? We're going to go hang out on the sky deck, put all of our... Uh, wintry snowmobile clothes on and stuff take a couple chairs up there maybe we could throw a couple chairs in the <laughs> in the four-wheeler trailer that actually worked pretty well because it packs a wider path we could use that to pack the uh, trails out here and then just go sit up there for a while yeah i think that sounds like a good plan for the day I accidentally found a good trick here tito uh, mentioned that in the cabin the boots were frozen to the floor this morning and it stays cold enough down here, which you'd think you wouldn't want, but hey, you don't need a cooler. You can just set stuff right on the floor. It's nice and toasty up above and, you know, 
built-in refrigerator. God, just so many advantages to living in the woods like this. You know, that makes me think of another point, a point I often try to make in these videos, that most people, some people, all people, most people, think that when doing things like building, that you have to know what you're doing, you have to do it a certain way. You know, like, why on earth would you frame a wall like that? That's not how you're supposed to do it. Or you, you've got a floor that's not insulated. You, ugh, That's just not going to work. You're really going to regret that. And you find that even in the middle of a winter storm in way northern Michigan, you can be completely warm and toasty in a 100 square foot tool shed with just like a couple hundred dollar propane heater. And, you know, the whole thing just kind of slapped together. If you ever go to try to do something like this, I suggest not paying attention to what anybody tells you unless you're looking for information you know if you're like i don't know how to frame a wall then you know go look it up but once you start doing it don't worry about what other people think it doesn't even just apply to building just anything in life just do it however you want to do it there are reasons that most people do it a certain way sometimes laws but as long as you're not breaking those laws just just do it how you want don't listen to the naysayers figure it out as you go and you know maybe you end up in the middle of the woods in a snowstorm Drinking coffee and listening to good tunes in a completely uninsulated shack and having the time of your life. Did I mention I think you should get some? Pro you should probably get some property and try this. It's, it's all right. It's all right. All right, I'm done with my 19th nap of the week. Let's see what's, what Tito's doing if he wants to go ride around in the snow or, you know, have a powwow on the sky deck. my favorite song. What's up, dude? What's up? Sitting by the heater a bit. Did you get any naps in? Oh. Huh? Been listening to music really loud and playing the piano. I'm gonna go check and uh, see if the driveway needs a plow in and then I thought maybe we should go skid up, sit on the uh, sky deck for a bit. Seems like about the right time. like the rungs. Watch your teeth. You can't get snow right in the face. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> kind of need two hands. Oh. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I was looking the other way. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That's how I'm like it broke. I just need two hands. Much easier. That's 
such a great sound. Oh, I need my coffee. Air catch. I don't have a coffee pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's a good chunk of snow. <laughs> that is a sweet sitting room right there. Nice. Plenty of, plenty of comfort. I like how you can really feel the place wobble. They call that the, the safety shakes. You don't want it too rigid. You know, like your teeth? Yeah, flex oh. is better than snap. Yep. I didn't want to lean back. Yeah, you always gotta look back. <laughs> Slide off. It's so cool to be up in the trees. It just feels, there's something like, even if it's perfectly calm, when you look up and you're halfway up the trees, you'd think they'd just look like smaller trees, but they don't. There's just some weird feeling. Yeah. It's probably just like your brain perceiving that the trees are moving a little bit differently. Yep. Just in that little wobble. Oh. Now I wish I had water food. How if we just get a rip? One big gust. Are these pitch here? <laughs> Just slide right off. There's a man that doesn't move around much. <laughs> you know, sloths grow moss on them because they don't yeah. move. Yeah. It doesn't really feel like a storm out here, but when it just keeps coming down like that consistently for a few days. It's just snowing. It's what? It's just snowing. Yeah. It's not too impressive, but it's pretty fun. Well, go pack trails. Yeah. Snowman. <laughs> I'll see you shake that off. Just like a dog. Stand right underneath it. Ooh. I wish I had some extra snow. <laughs> hey, hey there you go, buddy. What kind of animal do that kind of It's deepening. One thing about Michigan is you really do get all the seasons. Which one is this? I don't know, but do you think of like a month or two where this is the only place you can be for a good chunk of the day is inside this thing? Yeah. And it ain't quite usable right now. Can I pretend like this is a steering wheel? It is a steering wheel. Actually, I just hooked that up. Oh, oh that's pretty Nicely oh, back-weighted. <laughs> I can't bend. <laughs> There's too much snow in here. I can't get it in gear. There we go. Oh, uh-oh. Now that we got that out of the way, we'll just have a little bit of a snack here. Multiple lab cheeses and other cheeses to meet our needs. Watch a movie. Man. The prime rib with the brie is about as good as life gets. If I ever found a lamp and rubbed it and a genie came out and I had one wish, it would be that the index fingers on each hand, one would constantly push out brie and the other would be roast beef. So at will, 
They just go. <clears throat> Instead of fingernails? <laughs> yeah, but way faster. <laughs> oh, baby. You know what I'm excited about? This is my shower tonight. Ooh. Uh, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, geez, oh, pizza takes a lot of naps. Got a little bit of breeze. It's 19 degrees right now, so perfect to try this out. I was thinking about waiting until later. It was like 12 degrees. Just let it get a little colder just to make sure this thing still works when it's really cold, but it's kind of nice to do it when there's still light out. You can feel a tiny bit of air moving in here. Not much. Yeah, I think it's going to be just fine. I found a great way to dry out all my clothes. I don't usually leave this uh, stove burning during the day, but since it's so cold and uh, Tito's staying in there, I've been kind of living in here and I can bring all my clothes in, put hooks around the uh, stove pipe here. I can wrap my towel around there and it dries out in a few hours. And also my bibs, you know, the bottoms all get frozen and stuff. Hang them right there, right over the stove. Dries everything out nicely. The trick now is going to be finding some clothes to put on. I think I'm going to have to shovel for them. Ooh, that's almost up to the top of my boot. Yeah, just from the heat of the burner, it's already not freezing cold in here. So lovely. <laughs> well, I'm not completely sure, but I think I'm the first person to invent the uh, heated shower. Have you ever had a shower in the winter when your uh, whole body wasn't frozen? I didn't think so. See? I just, I just seem to have a mind for this kind of stuff. Yeah, there's absolutely no question that 19 degrees very comfortable to shower out here even if it's blowing a bit. I do my best to remember to uh, pay attention to the coldest day of the year. The coldest day I'll, I'll make sure I shower and see what it's like. Can you hear the wind blowing? It's a pretty solid gust right now. And I can just barely feel it just barely coming through the floor it's no big deal at all I did notice that the bottom of this is all iced up and the zipper was a little bit frozen to get undone oh maybe I'll be stuck in here that's fine oh, absolutely glorious <laughs> you look unreasonably comfortable it's I'm so comfortable <laughs> You know, it's like uh, 2 or 3 o'clock or something. Do you feel like we should do anything today? Like, I'm 50-50, but... I'm just, like, staying exactly where you are until you wake yeah. up tomorrow at 11? Yeah. It feels <laughs> like somebody dropped me off a building into this chair. <laughs> it actually looks that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go do some shooting. Yeah, we could shoot. I gotta go uh, shovel out the lean-to before it caves in. Oh, and then I uh, I have a present for you. Whenever you're dressed for the outdoors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll see. Yeah, this thing definitely needs to be shoveled. It's getting, getting thick. Yeah, the uh, garage doesn't completely cover the four-wheeler when it's blowing pretty good. <laughs> Little, uh, little frosty. Just need my shovel. It's the only shovel I have that uh, won't rip through the side of this thing. Not that I've ever ripped holes in the side of this thing with a shovel. I mean, what a dummy you'd have to be. 
Whoa, there's spiders on the snow. Never seen that before. Oh, yeah. God, I just can't believe this thing hasn't busted yet. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're bowed. You know, the only part that's not so good about all this snow is in a week it's supposed to be up around 40 for several days and raining every day so all this is going to disappear i wish ringworm was in an area that got five times as much snow I love the snow people that don't live in snowy places probably think this looks like a lot of fun <laughs> like shoveling this out and people that live in michigan think better you than me dummy <laughs> Yeah, when you live in this stuff, it gets pretty old for most people, but I don't like it. Here. Here's your present. Thanks. You know what it's for? Oh, right over there. What? Keep going. Oh. Cool. There it is. Just don't break the windows. Oh, spectacular. Spectacular. <laughs> you really know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Give them a whack. Ooh, look at that next, that second one. That's a good size one. Oh, here, wait, let me grab one. Oh. <laughs> Should we joust? <laughs> Get a running start. I think I'm well padded enough. <laughs> Don't make sure it doesn't slip up into your eye. <laughs> oh, that actually hit with some force. Maybe yeah. just a, a good old school sword fight would be better. It'd be funny if it just went all the way through us both and they <laughs> this how we died. found footage of. Yeah, that's that riddle, right? Like they find us in the spring and there's just a puddle of water and no weapons. Go ahead, thwack them. Whack. Careful of the window. Oh. Pretty satisfying. And I have one more present for you. It's the other <laughs> side. I was gonna say, does this thing have two sides? Is this three dimensional? Jeez. Poke my eye out. You don't poke your. You hit the window. <laughs> the one rule. Yeah. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Oh, I thought I was gonna get it all in one piece. There it is. Oh, should we shoot at it? Probably. Oh yeah, we should have saved those big icicles to shoot at. Yeah. Got some 22 blasters and we saved a, saved a few icicles. Ice sackles. Fine shooting, fine shooting. Should have saved them all next time. Not quite as deep under the trees. Even with the wind, there's still a lot sitting in there. Yeah, it still the... holds a lot of trees. There's oh, trees. look at there was a, there's another deer cross country skiing through here again. <laughs> it sounded like you accidentally hit that a few times. I only heard one. I heard them all. Huh? I heard them all. Oh, really? Yeah. I like those weird shelves on that thing, on that dead one.
Dude, it's freaking beautiful out here. Thank you. You did this? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, whilst you were sleeping. And I, I thought you were just sleeping 17 hours a day. <laughs> nope. But you've been out here with the styrofoam spray. <laughs> this isn't snow, it's shaving cream. Oh. Uh. Hey, you know what? Uh. <laughs> was that for yesterday? It sure was. <laughs> Oh, if I had a higher caliber pistol, I would shoot that tree over your head up there and shake the whole thing down on you. Show the good people of the world how the cowboys used to fan with their mittens on. <laughs> <laughs> Got one of you. The old fan and mitten. All right, we can't pass this one up. This gun is frustrating in the winter, especially for some reason. It just it misfires every second shot, doesn't eject, jams up, and everything. But we have to shoot this target. This is the most fun. You've seen it about eleven times already, but you can see it again. Oh yeah, oh, almost ate it. Uh, <laughs> that was great fun. You know, I truly do try to wake up every morning and purposely think what would I most likely what would I most like to do today and I do that of course 90 a lot of percent of the time what I want to do is just build something I want to mill something I want to cut some trees I want to build a cabin whatever it is I would never actually choose what would I most like to do just lay here and do nothing like that never comes to mind but we'd have an excuse like this you know when somebody comes out and they want to chill and the weather's gnarly and everything God, it's so nice just to sit around. I used to be pretty good at sitting around, like a pretty good relaxer, but when there's so much fun stuff to do, it seems like I've kind of lost that ability. <sighs> that was lovely. Man, we did eat a lot of cheese though. I don't know how many minutes this video will be, but this being the end of it, it's probably like 30, 40, 50 minutes. Anything outside of those 40 or 50 minutes, we were laying still and or eating cheese. That's all we did. Mm. That was great. Yep. So what did you think of the storm overall? Storm. On a scale of one to five? I didn't feel like it was very stormy. I give it like a C plus. Yeah. Yeah, or a Roman numeral three or something. Yeah. Well, it was fun as all hell. So dragging his stuff down to the car and he's taking off for like four days and then coming back and we're going to do it again. So it's very unfortunate that it's supposed to warm up, I think tonight or tomorrow night we're supposed to get three more inches and then it warms up to like 40 for several days and just pours rain. So all this pretty stuff will be gone, but that's Michigan. All right, thanks for watching. See ya whenever. We'll uh, mill some logs up and finish the inside of the cabin all in one video. It's gonna be sweet. Peace. And you thought the video was over. What was that you were saying just a second ago? So this isn't very clearly marked. Yeah, the uh, all the major road signs for the bridge uh, must have gotten blown down. Somebody was somebody was driving quite recklessly. I will say the design of this bridge is a little bit lacking when it comes to winter driving. having to hold down the middle of it so you could see the water running through the middle. 
That was not a good idea. Yeah. All right, well, better luck next time. See ya.